everywhere in the world, we can observe and be touched by acts of kindness. People from all walks of life, faiths, and cultures extend themselves beyond the call of duty to help others unconditionally. Through their noble deeds, humanity as a whole is elevated. To commend virtuous actions and encourage more people to be inspired by their examples, Supreme Master Ching Hai has lovingly created a series of awards, including the Shining World Leadership Award, Shining World Compassion Award, Shining World Hero and Heroine Awards, Shining World Honesty Award, Shining World Protection Award, Shining World Intelligence Award, and Shining World Inventor Award to recognize some of the most exemplary, generous, caring, and courageous people who walk amongst us. How you doing guys? Can I give you a hand? Meet Thomas Weller, also affectionately known as the San Diego Highwayman. He has traveled the roads of San Diego, California, USA in his unique Ghostbusters vehicle, stopping wherever he can to help stranded motorists. This fine Samaritan has been doing this, usually on the weekends, for no less than 40 years. They have a flat tire, I'll change it for them. Uh, if they're out of gas, I've got gas for them. If they're overheated, I got water. Uh, got first aid gear as well. I don't like to have to use that, but I've got it. Uh, vehicle's pretty well packed. Weighs 5,680 pounds with the dog. Got a weighed with her in it one day. Prepared for just about anything that comes up, but I prefer to do uh, breakdown rescues rather than emergency medical work. I'm trained as an EMT, but I'd rather not do that. I'm better at mechanical repairs. People have expressed their appreciation to Mr. Weller for his caring efforts through pictures, hugs, a handshake, or a simple thank you. He shares with us one touching story of gratitude. Lots of times I have folks that their tires are blown and they don't have a spare and uh, I have a stock of about 150 tires out back or I'll bring their blown out tire on their rim and I'll find one that fits from my stock and I'll mount it up, take it to them. I had one guy, he was, uh, he had tattoos all over him and a bald head and bulging muscles and his 90 something T-Bird blew and shredded the tire. And it was a hot day, southbound 163, and he's sitting there when I pulled up. First, I gave him one of my cards. Mm -hmm. And I took his tire, bought it here, put a new tire on it, a different tire, and not a new one. And I took it back to him. I was going about 40, 45 minutes. And when I got back, he was still sitting in his car. I changed the tire for him. I put it on. We shook hands, and I turned around to leave. And all of a sudden, he had me by the shoulder, and he spun me back around. Well, the guy's crying. He's got tears in his eyes. He said, never had anybody done something like that for him before. Mm -hmm. And he'd been sitting in his car reading my card when I left. He didn't believe I was coming back. He just didn't believe it. Mr. Thomas Weller explains that it seems like there is an invisible force guiding him towards those in need of help. He calls his trusty dog companion his angel. Well, I definitely got an angel riding on my shoulder or in this case, in the passenger seat. She's a fur angel. She was my angel. She protects me. Sheila came from the Humane Society down on Sherman Street in San Diego. She was in the last cage, the last place I looked. And when I came up to her, she came out to the wire and she put her muzzle through the wire and she said, whoa, 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 whoa get me out of here. So I went to pick her up. And she hopped into the rescue rig from the passenger side, mm -hmm. crossed over the driver's side, sat down, put her paws on the steering wheel spokes, and turned her head and looked at me. And it was like, okay, I'm ready. Get in. Let's go. <laughs> she thought she was going to drive the car. Yes, she sure did. And uh, when I told her she couldn't, her head, her ears went down and her tail went down, and she kind of slunk over to the passenger side, and she lifted her paws one by one, to be strapped in 
and she knew exactly what to do without any prompting. It was like she was waiting for me. Together, the duo has helped more than 6,000 motorists in need. It makes us wonder when the seeds of kindness were first planted in Thomas Weller. If there had to be a specific answer, it would be one winter's night when he was just 16 years old. Thomas Weller was driving in a two-lane highway in the midst of a blizzard and suddenly plowed into a snowbank. Several hours later, a caring man came and stopped to pull him out of the snow with a chain. The young Thomas had asked what he could do in return, but his rescuer simply said, you pass it on. Ever since, the San Diego Highwayman shares the message of benevolence through his every action and a card that he offers to all he helps. His own words are written on every card. It says, assisting you has been my pleasure. I ask for no payment other than for you to pass on the favor by helping someone in stress you may encounter. And on the back side now, there's the words from a uh, popular country western song. It says, you don't owe me a thing. I've been there too. Someone once helped me out just the way I'm helping you. If you really want to pay me back, here's what you do. Don't let the chain of love end with you. And that's uh, the way I feel. You know, pass it on. We'll be right back with more on Thomas Weller's admirable work as the Highwayman. Please stay tuned to Supreme Master Television. Welcome back, kind-hearted viewers, as we learn more about the endeavors of today's Shining World Compassion Award recipient, Mr. Thomas Weller. She said, I'm from St. Louis, and I'm on a passing through. I must have seen a hundred cars go by. This is awful nice of you. And when he changed the tire, closed the trunk, and I'm about to drive away. Said, how much do I owe you? Here's what he had to say. You don't owe me a thing. Oh, you're very welcome. Very nice. Have a better day. If you really want to pay me back, here's what you do. Don't let the chain hold up with you. Thomas Weller has helped so many people that he has earned the nickname among his fellow citizens, San Diego Highwaymen. Mr. Weller never accepts payment, but instead, he carries with him a wealth of memorable stories. He shares with us one tale that demonstrates how his noble wish to see kindness being paid forward is bearing fruit. I was riding with my brother to get my son's pickup from the Chevy dealer on a Saturday, and because I was in my brother's car, I couldn't do anything for all the people we passed beside the road. But one little gal was real poignant for me. She had a blowout, and she was sitting at an off-ramp, and it looked like when I went by she was going to get out of her car and walk, but she had a small child with her. Well, anyway, I stored this away in my memory bank, and I'm coming back, and she's still there. But I'm now in my son's pickup, which doesn't have my gear, so I bring the pickup home. I get my rescue rig and my dog, Sheila, and we turn around and we go back to where this little gal was at. Now, she's still there, but now there's a van behind her and a fellow about my age attempting to change her tire for her. And he's using her tools, her little stock jack and one-arm wrench, and when I pull up, he's jumping on the one-arm wrench trying to get the lug nuts loose. The first thing I did was hand him my star wrench. And then we're talking, and I'm airing up the spare, which was flat, while we're talking, and... I allow as to how I saw her before, and I had to turn around and come back. And he said, well, he did too. He saw her beside the road, and he passed her by. Yes. And then he started thinking about how four months earlier his wife had had a blowout on the freeway, mm -hmm. and someone had stopped to help her. And he said, by the way, thank you for helping my wife. I was the one that helped his wife, apparently. Okay. And it made him think about 
coming back and helping the little girl. So my seeds are growing. What motivates the good-hearted Mr. Weller to do this service every week? Well, I go out when I'm depressed, much as I can, and it helps to lift my spirits. If I help one person, I come back lifted. One time I went out and I spent two and a half hours driving around, and it was nighttime, and I didn't find anybody to help. And so I'm almost to my home off ramp, and I get lit up and pulled over by a CHP officer. And I'm thinking, great, what a perfect ending for a perfect day. Now I'm going to get a ticket for something on top of it. Well, officer walks up to my driver's side window, puts his hand in the window and shakes my hand. He says, for 17 years he'd been on the East County beat. He's seen me in accidents and breakdowns doing what I do, and he's never had a chance to say thank you because I always left so quick. I said, officer, you darn near give me a heart attack. <laughs> and he laughed. <laughs> well, that kept me going for a couple of weeks as far as lifted spirits. It's nice to know there's people out there that feel that way about it. For his unconditional love in action as he offers his aid countless times to strangers on the road, Thomas Weller received the Shining World Compassion Award from Supreme Master Ching Hai. In addition to the Shining World Compassion Award, Supreme Master Ching Hai gave Mr. Weller a check for 5,000 U.S. dollars a contribution towards covering the expenses of his highway help endeavors. The proud awardee also received gifts, as well as some of Supreme Master Ching Hai's books, including her number one international bestseller, The Noble Wilds. I want to thank Supreme Master Ching Hai very much for the uh, wonderful kindness she has bestowed on me. I promise I will be passing it on. You can bet on it. True to his word, Mr. Weller did pass on the kindness he shared with us a letter he wrote to Supreme Master Ching Hai. Howdy, my lady. Well, I'm just floored. Thank you very much for your generous support. After your fellas left Saturday, I got inspired to go out and do a search loop, as I call it, and was lucky enough to be able to be of assistance to several folks that needed some. I'll be putting that award on my desk. Wow, I can go out to play on the freeway more often thanks to you. Good on you. The San Diego Highwayman, a.k.a. Thomas Weller. Mr. Weller, your consideration for others is truly heartwarming and has surely paid for itself forward in many ways, both known and unknown. Thank you for being the friend that everyone would cherish, lighting up our world with your generous spirit and selfless love. It was a pleasure having you join us on today's program, thoughtful viewers. Coming up next is Words of Wisdom, after noteworthy news, here on Supreme Master Television. May the joy of giving color our lives always.